Back to Lewis diagrams. There are exceptions to the octet rule. And because there are, that actually helps us to describe better what's happening in terms of Lewis structures. Now, periodic table, you know that everything here at n equals 2 on the periodic table, these are 2p orbitals, they can have 2s and 2p orbitals, and so that is a total of 8 electrons maximum that anything in period 2 of the periodic table can have. Hey, that means that they have to complete an octet but can't exceed it. However, because anything else here can have d, f, g orbitals and things like that, these elements below period 2 can exceed the octet rule. So, oxygen can't exceed the octet rule, but sulfur can. Here's a Lewis diagram of sulfate ion. It's got 32 valence electrons, and I've accounted for all of those here. We're going to calculate something called the formal charge to see if that's the best Lewis diagram possible. It's a right one, but it's not necessarily the best. Here's how you do it. Formal charge of an element is you take its free atom valence, which is just its number on the periodic table, group number, that element, which one it's in, and subtract from that an assigned valence, which is its lone pairs from this diagram, plus half the bonding electrons that it has. So look at a bond and count one electron. Watch this. Oxygen is normally in group six. Subtract from it two, four, six, and one electron here in the bond, that's seven. So it has a formal charge of negative one, and we put it there. All of these oxygens are the same. Sulfur, what's its formal charge? It doesn't have any lone pairs, it's just got one, two, three, four bonding electrons that it's contributed into those bonds. It's normally in group six, we take away four, and it equals plus two. Now watch this, negative one times four, is negative 4 plus 2 is a total of 2 negative. So it does work, but it's not the best. Watch this, because what you want to do for formal charge is try to make these 0, or as close to 0 as possible. Okay, now this might look freaky, but watch what happens here. You can take away a lone pair of oxygen and put it here, and take away a lone pair of oxygen and put it here. Now, Take a look at what you've done. You've turned this oxygen into 6 group, group 6, minus 2, 4, 5, 6. 6 minus 6 equals 0. So this one's 0, this one's 0, this is still negative 1, and this is still negative 1 as a formal charge. Oh, but look at the sulfur. 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 6 minus 6 equals 0. The sulfur's down to 0. The total for this molecule in terms of its charge is negative 1 and negative 1, so it's still 2 negative, but we got sulfur and 2 oxygens to a formal charge of 0, and that makes this a better Lewis diagram. You draw arrows here, and you draw this again, and put the double bonds here to give resonance. And that's how you do formal charges and better Lewis diagrams.